there. I-95 northbound before Kings Road. Two right lanes are closed. If you're taking that exit route, 353C, that is still closed as of right now. Of course, we have Claire Alfries working on this story throughout the morning, and she's telling us it is starting to clear up, so that is some good news. But if you do have loved ones who take that into work this morning, just give them a call to check on them today. You heard Jasmine mention it there. We want to get right out to Claire Alfred. She's standing by. We want to get a quick look at the scene, what's going on there at this uh, hour. Good morning, Claire. Keith, good morning. You know, we're talking about this crash that has impacted us all throughout the morning show, but although things we thought were starting to open up, now we're seeing that morning commute impact people trying to get through I-95 North. Now, take a look right now. We're seeing this is the most slowdown ever since we came on the scene at 5 o'clock this morning. And we're still seeing that there is police present there off of I-95. And this is going to impact anyone, especially going through and past the downtown exits because of a fatal crash. And as we can see right now, people are still able to get through two lanes off to the right are blocked, but the other one lanes are still able to pass through. But there is a major slowdown. So you definitely want to calculate that into your morning commute. Uh, hopefully soon the road will be open up, but right now we really don't know when, but still we have police on presence. They're here along the Florida Highway Patrol. Reporting in Jacksonville, Claire Alfrey, First Coast News on your side.